Bruno, it's great to speak to you. I'm all the way in Malaysia. Uh, very excited for this. I, I need to know your personal feelings about Manchester United right now. Second in the league in the Europa League final. Yet it still feels, because this is Manchester United we're talking about, that it's not quite good enough. Am I right in saying that, do you think? Oh, I agree. We have a lot of improvement to do yet. Uh, uh, our best is still yet to come, I think. We can do much better. Uh, I think everyone feels that. I think anyway, we did a good, a good season. We could achieve um, the final of Carabao, obviously. We, we lost against, uh, against City at home. Uh, we could do better in the FA Cup. Uh, we could do better also in the Champions League, passing the group stage. But anyway, I think the team is improving. Um, and we have to end well the season, this this next game, and uh, and the other one to to end the season as as, as second, and when end with to winning these two games, and after we have we will have time to think on uh, on the final. But I think of course, as you said, this club uh, has the pressure to do to do a lot. We know that when we when we agree to come to the club. Uh, of course, we know about the history of the club. We know about uh, uh, about what is about playing for this club. So we know we can do better, when, and we want to do better. Uh, and doing better is achieve more, maybe more trophies, go, getting closer to to other trophies, um, doing better in the league, and and many many things. Edison Cavani, we know he signed a new contract, which was great news for all fans of Manchester United. Great news for you as well, I presume, because you've got great chemistry on the pitch. But how do you think he can also help to influence some of the other players in the squad, like Mason Greenwood, helping him become a better player? No, I think we we all always can we we can learn from each other. It doesn't matter if you are experienced, you are younger, you always can 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 learn from everyone. You know, of course, the experience to be in, in football for more time. Can can give you some advices and can give you can you help you to growing up to some situations on the game um, and of course Eddie has as a career who talks for himself so we we don't need to talk about that and uh, and of course Mason can learn from him but not just Mason I think doesn't need to be only the strikers who can learn from Eddie and uh, at the same time I think uh, Eddie can also learn a lot from everyone here. Uh, because, as I said, we all have something to improve yet. So, as a team, we have to improve. And if we improve personally, uh, the team will get better. And I think Eddie and other players uh, will, will help on that, for sure. Further back uh, on the pitch, Harry Maguire, he's been a constant presence for Manchester United. He started every game in the Premier League since he joined right up to where he went off against Aston Villa. And now that he's not there, it, it's become apparent that he perhaps doesn't get the credit he deserves. How important has Harry been for Manchester United, just having him on the pitch? Honestly, I think uh, sometimes um, you, you can say you miss a player or something, but a player doesn't, doesn't make a team. So I don't think uh, we don't win the last game because age doesn't play. Of course, if age is available, you will help anyway. But I think we have to understand, we have to understand um, every player in the squad is here to help and can help in some way. So if age is not playing, someone else is playing on his position who can do or has to do, the same is doing. Uh, of course, we know we have different players, different qualities. Uh, but we are all important in the same in the, at the same level. So, age of course is important. He has is being consistent for us. He's being the captain for uh, for us for the club. Uh, so, of course he has he has a part. is important part to to say because he was playing many many games. As you said, he start every game in the league for for us since he arrived. And, and we know he's important for us, but he's important for us at, at the same time other players are. I think we, don't, we should not say like when one player doesn't play, 
is because he does is not playing we we don't win or is because he doesn't play we don't create is because he doesn't play we concede more goals is because he doesn't play we don't score many goals uh, because everyone is important and every game is different so I think uh, we should learn from that because the main thing to do now is support the ones who are playing as the same way age is doing because I see age on the on the stand supporting. Uh, like everyone does when when goes on the bench. For example, uh, touch on me going to the bench on Leicester, and I was there supporting the team, shouting to the to my teammates, trying to help them from the from the outside, as the other ones as, as the other players was was doing the same. Uh, and the main thing for for us and for the group is understanding doesn't matter who plays, everyone is important and in different in different ways. Yeah, football is a team sport. That's why you have squads. Um, but this season is different because it is a compressed season. Even the international break breaks have three games and not two. How difficult has it been for you as a player with so many games, particularly the last two weeks for Manchester United? And how do you personally handle it with the manager as well? Do you tell him that you want to feature in as many games as possible? No, so we all know, I think... We all know no one no one thinks about the players. They don't care if you get injured or not. Uh, we can talk about everything, but they just want to to fix uh, the games. Doesn't matter where, if you have time to recover or not. Uh, the most important for them is playing many games as possible, and we see we see that on the last three games because it's unbelievable. How I I want to play every game, and if I could, I play every day, but I can't because it's too difficult to play every two days at this high level. And, and I think uh, league, UEFA, FIFA, they should take, they, take, they, they should take care more about the, about the health of the players because if you get injured in the end of the season and you can miss a Euro or a World Cup or whatever, or any way you can miss the beginning of the next season, it's tough for a player. And they should understand it's not easy to play every two days. But sometimes they don't care, and and honestly, I think uh, they should they should doing 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 better because, for example, for us as a players, the last I, I I honestly, if I could, if the coach asked me to, if I want to play the three games, I I, I will say yes. If I probably will do well as before, or I, I will I will not be tired. I will be tired, of course I will be, because it's impossible to play at this high level without be tired for. And two and two days, it's, 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 it's impossible. And I think, honestly, we, we players should say more times uh, what I'm saying because I think it's not fair enough uh, playing these kind of games and, and more in the end of the season. We play almost every, every season, uh, midweek and, uh, and weekend, so it's many games on the legs. To arrive at the end of the season in the last two weeks and have to play three games in six days. Yeah, you're only human after all. No one can fault you for that. Um, also, what about the manager and his role in developing this team? Because individual players have come under criticism from the outside world. Luke Shaw, Mason Greenwood, Paul Pogba, even Juan Bissaka. But it seems that Oli's gotten the best out of each of those players I just mentioned, out of the whole squad. Do you think man management is his biggest strength as a manager? I think the the human part on the coach is probably the best he have, uh, and sometimes with this kind of players you have, like because if you coach, if you are a coach of Manchester United or or a big club, you always have big players. So sometimes you have just to manage the human part of the players because you know if the human part will be okay, they will follow your rules, your the way you want they, them to go. And I think the best he, on him is the human part, honestly.